with a loss to Japan at home in the opening match of the Asia Rugby Championship and a difficult road trip to Hong Kong in Week 2, Korea were under pressure. Two quick tries in the first 11 minutes at Hong Kong Football Club went some way to alleviating that pressure. A good run forward by the uh, big number 14, uh, Jingle Bin. And Jingle Bin got away from everyone, parted it inside to Jang Sao Min, and Jang Sao Min is able to go over. Hong Kong scored minutes later when Tom McQueen took a quick tap penalty and barely touched down before the ball rolled dead. I think it hit his boot, and yeah, and uh, Paul McKay has awarded the try. Oh, Fantastic yeah. opportunity try by Tom McQueen. Curry replied with two tries and a penalty before the break and took a 25-7 lead into half time. And now they can rotate it again. They got an overlap. And this time again, it's the number 14. Uh, Jingle Bin got a lovely feed from Kim Nam Book. And again, he goes in. Following a converted penalty from Korea, Hong Kong scored the first try of the second half and appeared to be gaining momentum. Now they can force it over, there's a good drive. Oh, powerful legs oh, and a drive and the hand goes up. Korea answered. The man who's raced away is Chung Yong Hyung. Hong Kong scored again through the other McQueen, Alex. They had a chance if they could have moved the ball quick, and now they do. Out to the far side, good gap opened up, and in screams the number 15, Alex McQueen. And this time they followed up with a second try. This one converted to pull within seven. But the Korean defense held and the visitors ran out 33 26 winners. Really pleased that we came back the, the way we did. And if the game had gone on maybe another couple of minutes, then perhaps we would have, uh, we would have snuck it at the end. But uh, yeah, disappointed, disappointed. And it's. It's more so about what we didn't do rather than what, what, they, what they presented because nothing they presented was, was, was too, uh, too much of a challenge. Uh, we just didn't cope with uh, that far start well enough. This week, it's Hong Kong's turn to feel the pressure. Following their home defeat, they now travel to Tokyo where they lost the series decider and World Cup place in 2014. Tatakawa, though, in support, superb stuff. The sweeping attack from Japan. Yeah, we re reflected on the game last week. We were obviously disappointed, particularly in our first half. Uh, so we've we've tried to resurrect it, resurrect it this week and uh, hope hope to put it to practice uh, tomorrow. Adding to the uncertainty is the fact that Hong Kong has made seven changes to the side, including an entirely new front row. Rather than grasping at straws, coach Andrew Hall is looking to build out a deeper bench. We're very fortunate to have a bit of depth. This is something that we haven't always had. And uh, particularly with the, the front row, we're rotating the entire front row. Uh, and that's, that's, that's not to say that the, the, the uh, three that played last week were any better than the three this week. I think we've got six or seven now strong front rowers that can compete for a play. So that's, that's great for me. Uh, a couple are reinforced through injury. Uh, we need to rest one or two people. Um, and, and of course, we've got some new caps as well. And it's, you, can't, you don't know if they're going to cope unless you chuck them in there. There's some new blood there, guys are wanting to really have a crack and crack into this international environment, so it's a great opportunity for them and, and a couple of uh, old heads that have come back as well. So uh, there's a good mix of uh, youth and experience there. For Japan, this week three encounter gives them a chance to show off their form following a less than sterling performance in Korea two weeks ago. It is also the first time that former Hong Kong coach Lee Jones, who now acts as Japan's defence coach, will face his former team. Yeah, there's a different kind of feeling. I suppose, obviously, I've got some good friends, Hong Kong side. I, I'm still based in Hong Kong, you know, I live in Hong Kong. But it's, it's business as usual. I've been a pro coach for a long time. And you do, for, you do your best for the team you're, you're associated with at any given time. 
Japan is in the early stages of what will be a long 2015 campaign, one that culminates in the United Kingdom in mid-September. World Cup, I'm prepared for the World Cup. Our guys have worked really hard, um, as I previously mentioned. It's kind of part of a, a pre-season phase for those, almost building towards the World Cup. So they're working very, very hard at the moment. Um, everything we're doing, defence, attack, um, the, the boys are really putting it in um, and, and getting sharper and fitter by the day. Yeah.